Hey everyone, Enigma Coin Collector here, and we're going to do another unboxing today. And this is going to be the 2023 Peace Dollar. Now, a little bit of background on this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get this coin from the United States Mint. Um, apparently, what happened was um, the U.S. Mint charged my credit card for the Morgan and the Peace Dollar. My credit card company saw the two charges back-to-back -back real quick, and they flagged the second one uh, and actually didn't let it go through. Uh, the United States Mint didn't tell me until about a week and a half after they went on sale that the uh, payment information was bad and the order was canceled. So I actually had to go on the secondary market, on this case eBay, and buy a peace dollar for my collection. So I did pay about $10 more than the price the United States Mint um, listed them for sale on. So a little bit of a disappointment there. Not only that, but I think we basically have a 0% chance of getting the director strike one of 200 of those coins. And I'm going to explain that a little bit later in the video. Um, now, the odds of getting one of those coins was pretty close to zero to begin with, but I'm assuming that the buyer, if they would have gotten one of these uh, and they're flipping these for a profit to resell them, they might have seen that and uh, probably wouldn't have then go ahead and put those on the listing. But who knows? Maybe there is one in here. Anyway, we're going to do the unboxing. We're going to check out the Peace Dollar now that I've got it for my collection. And then... We're going to talk about the special director strike, which is just crazy. And I actually think how they did it was really, really cool. So a little bit different of a packaging. It's not the United States Mint. It's eBay. And let's see what we've got here. Yep, it is the Peace Dollar. And we already know that it's not going to be the director strike. Um, if it was going to be the director strike, it would have said on the box right here. Would have said director strike instead of United States Mint. This appears to be the same packaging as the Morgan Dollar that I did the unboxing on earlier, um, about a week ago. So let's go ahead and break this open. Let's see what kind of condition the Peace Dollar is in. I'm excited to see. Here is the COA. All that information. And then here is the Peace Dollar. And personally, in the uncirculated versions, like we're getting right now, I think the Peace Dollar looks better than the Morgan. Um, I'm excited for the proof versions that are going to come out later in the year. Um, but I, I like the Peace Dollar more than I like the Morgan Dollar. Come on, focus, if it will. I'll just zoom down. We'll just do it that way. There we go. There is the 2023 Peace Dollar. Looks flawless on the obverse. Lots of detail in the hair. I hope that's coming across on the video. I think I'm on digital zoom. Let me see if I can get to optical zoom here in a minute. There, That should be a little bit better of a picture. The detail on the hair is just awesome. Very high detail. Very happy with that. Let's take a look at the reverse with the eagle. Yeah, it looks, looks flawless to me. So happy that I finally got one. A little bit disappointed that I had to pay $10 over the price from the United States Mint, but it is what it is. Uh, I did tell my credit card company to allow all purchases from the United States Mint moving forward. So let me explain a little bit. I'm going to show you using this coin, uh, and then I'll bring up an article on uh, the internet. Um, after the peace dollars came out, it was then revealed by people finding them that the director of the Mint had personally minted 200 peace dollars. Now, the peace dollars themselves are identical to all other peace dollars. There's not a special privy mark. There's not a special mint mark. There's no way on the coin itself of identifying if it was minted by the mint director. What is different is on the packaging, it, like I said, it says director strike right here. And then on the inside, in addition to the COA, it has a special congratulations card saying that this coin is one of 200 that were personally minted by the director of the mint with a serial number on that certificate and the actual signature of the director, not a copied signature, actual Sharpie autograph. So the only way that you can identify that is by the packaging. So in essence, the packaging is what is collectible, so to speak. Let me go ahead and show you a little bit more information about that. Okay, here you can see an article that was put on Coin World, specially struck 2023 peace dollars randomly shipped. And you can see here, production at the Philadelphia Mint of uncirculated 2023 P peace dollars introduced 200 coins struck on July 10th by U.S. Mint Director Veritas Gibson and packaged with certificates of authenticity and congratulation cards among the special strike. 
The box coins struck by Gibson were randomly inserted into shipments to customers who ordered the Newsmatic product. Sales of the coin opened to the public, you know, obviously, when that did on the 13th. So let me see if I can see any information. It doesn't have it there, but you can see there is the box, and it says Director Strike. Here's an article on Reddit with someone who did upload the, the photos of their coin that they got. You can see the congratulations card here and the Director Strike packaging. The coin itself is identical to all the others. We'll talk about that more in a minute, but you can see the packaging is essentially what is unique. Um, also, Coin Help You had a viewer, and here is the inside um, with the serial number there. So you can see what the inside looks like, and you can see that that is a handwritten signature. It's not, um, it's not something that was copied, so it's really unique. So let's go back to the table and talk a little bit more about this. So obviously we didn't get one, and like I said, 200 coins out of 275,000 is basically zero as well. So you know, it was, odds are we weren't going to get one anyway. That being said, I absolutely love how they did this. Number one, they didn't tell us about it ahead of time because you know that if they would have done that, there would have been people tripping over themselves to get them. The website would have been overwhelmed and more than likely collectors would have got these. So I think they did this as a way of getting these cool strikes into the hands of people who enjoy coins as best as they could. And I think they succeeded in that. It was a great surprise. Um, you weren't charged more for it, which is also another great thing. Um, it was done after the fact. They told us that this happened afterwards, and we didn't even announce it. They just, people have started finding these randomly. So that's really great. What I think is going to be interesting, though, is to see how they go about authenticating these. Because like I said, all of the things that identify this as a director strike is on the packaging, not the coin itself. So I think we might get into some issues where if coin grading companies start verifying these, they're going to have to either put the congratulations certificate in an oversized holder along with the cardboard sleeve as a way of preserving that packaging with the coin. Because think about it, if I got one of those and I sent these off with the director strike to PCGS or wherever, uh, and they authenticated the coin, they sent me back the packaging, what's to stop me from putting in another piece dollar that I bought separately, sending it back off again, and getting that same thing. All of a sudden, we're going to have more than 200 of these things in existence. So being that the packaging is what is unique, I think you have to almost put that in an oversized holder, maybe something, you know, 9 or 10 inches by 9 or 10 inches, so that you see the coin, you see the cardboard sleeve, and you see the certificate that indicates that with a serialized number. Moreover than that, I think coin grading companies are going to have to start communicating which ones they're verifying. There's only 200 of these things. So let's say PCGS starts going through and verifying that they've got, you know, maybe numbers one, two, three, four. They can start announcing, hey, we have certified the following serial numbers so that if NGC starts getting those exact num numbers, they know that something is off. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see, A, how they're going to go about, if they're going to go about, um, encapsulating these coins, and then also, what's the value of them going to be? I know some people just have to have everything. It's going to go through the roof. It's going to be more than the uh, the, the, the V75 ASE that was uh, put out about two years ago. So really interesting. But either way, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I finally got my peace dollar. I'm going to send this out to get graded, and I'm really excited to do so. I'm going to make sure that for the proof and the reverse proof, my credit card company knows to let those transactions go through. So... Just a word of caution out there. Well, I hope you like this video. If you did and you want to see more like it, please click subscribe. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments below. And remember, it's always a mystery when it comes to the United States Mint. Thanks for taking the time to watch, everyone. I'll catch you on the next one.